the same Ferrari. He raced like a Testarossa. A oh my God. Oh, that's yes, right. You're a Ferrari owner, huh? Big so is, Ferrari is it, guy. Is it, is it, <laughs> Big Ferrari Is it Medina or Modena? Modena. Modena. Do you want do some, this, some Parmesan cheese on your goo 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 goo? He at least got to like, pick some better words. I don't know any Italian words. Is everything you know about Italian culture from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles? Pretty much. Sick. Pretty much. Sick. Or, or Home Alone. Donatella. Mario. You go go do 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 Fighting giant turtles and... Laying hammers on mushrooms and shit. So Good what's job. your best Italian accent saying this versus that? Welcome back to uh, this versus that. What's that the Godfather? Could waste another f Thank you, Nas Energy Drink, for bestowing this sponsorship upon my family to feed them. Go for it. Never in a million years would I have ever thought I would see the coolest tribute car, but this by far is the pinnacle. Like most people build tribute cars, but right here there is a mountain <laughs> that they cannot scale. And these people, good people at Throttle, have built it. And what did you build? Thanks yes. for the nice introduction. I mean, this is badass. I mean, it's look, look. By the way, your glasses are fantastic, bro. I really like those. Thank things. you, Mr. Ricky. Thank you, Mr. Really Ricky. Really like that. All right, so this is a 1994, was a twin turbo, a uh, Toyota Supra. It's still a Supra, but we ended up going single turbo. Most people don't know, and I'll ask this right off the bat because I don't know, because yeah. I'm still looking at this from a, like a 12 year old kid that's like, okay, okay, okay. oh my God, Supra yeah. Gran Turismo. <laughs> Look. What is the physical difference between this and the one from the movie? Okay, so the one for the movie was a narrow body, it was automatic, and it was still twin turbo. Our take on this car as a tribute car, it was if the movie was being built today, now, okay. in 2023, what parts would they would have used and what would it look like? While still keeping the same visuals of the original car, right? Now I must say, this is tastefully done. <laughs> nothing you. over the top, nothing exact. Goddamn car! <laughs> Now, could you show me what makes this Supra a Supra? Open the bonnet. It popped the hood. Now, what do we have here? I'm not gonna lie to you. Mm -hmm. I've seen a lot of Jay-Z's, two Jays in my life, but uh, there's a lot of stuff in here that looks way over the budget, as if this was some Hollywood action movie. <laughs> This is extremely large. This is extremely billet. That's clear. Is that my daddy's belt? It could be. No, daddy, no! <laughs> no disrespect to those who's about to get disrespected. Usually I see inferior looking radiators that aren't mm -hmm. as quality, that don't hold as much uh, fluids as you would say. So just, yeah. just, it got the cat. I'm not gonna talk for you, you gotta talk for you. I'm sorry, I'm just getting excited. All right, so we're gonna start with our Garrett Turbo. It's a massive 1200 Turbo. It's capable of up to 1200 horsepower. We're not running that much today. We have Plasma Man valve, custom made valve covers, specifically for us, as you can see, it's got a throttle branding on it. And then all of our fuel system is from uh, Ditchworks. Nice. Yep. And uh, wiring? Wiring is uh, right wire. Okay, all I know is, kids, there's a formula for horsepower for inline six, big ass turbo, big ass injectors, a big good tune, fuel pump, right? Yep. So you got you need at least two of me in the tank. You ain't got two <laughs> fuel pumps my size, you ain't doing nothing. These right here, billet? Yeah, yes sir. Anyway, I'm broke. I don't know what, what else to say. Oh, we got a plasma man, huge intercooler. What's with... this? What's... Hey, 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 no! Whoa, <laughs> whoa, whoa. <laughs> you got all of this going on. Let me see what's get, keeping you on the ground, my boy. Show me what's keeping let's, you let's on the ground. Let's go back here, bro. Is a thick girl. Yes. Is this a girl or a boy? It doesn't matter. It, right now, it doesn't matter. This is thick. Well, yeah. You hear, how much air, bro? Look at that. Is that? 
So this is a two-piece wheel from Motegi. It was specifically custom made for us. And we actually have three different sets. So whatever event we're going to, we'll, we'll, we'll change the tires. But it is the same style. They're all two-piece and it makes the car look amazing and it runs great. And you're able to fit this big, massive uh, slick in the back. That is impressive. Sick, dude. That is it's impressive. a great wheel. Since we already here in the back, I need to see the lunch table. The movie comes with two NOS bottles. We know that, right? And originally, when we built the car, before testing, before turning it on, everything is plugged into the car. Mm. This thing has direct port injectors to both NOS bottles. Now, we never used them because we built our engine to hold a thousand horsepower. Our dyno session gave us almost 1100 without the bottles. So we ended up tuning it back down to like 850 because we're not trying to blow the caps off the engine. So the next build for this thing is gonna be to reach about 1400 horsepower. <coughs> Salud. <coughs> Salud. Damn. Salud, niño. He slimed me. It's Man. almost tickling in my nose. Sorry about that. <laughs> Ooh. You wanna see that? Uh, may I please see of it? Course. May you open your yeah, boot. Yeah. Learning Diego. I've been watching a lot of Top Gear. Boot, bonnet, saloon. National carry coming soon. Now you I see these? You can slap them. I don't know if I'm gonna be right. Usually if you slap them and you hear a ting, it's empty. You hear these? It's full. That's, like my uncle says, that's how you know a watermelon's good. It also has a gauge. You can read it from the gauge. <laughs> I'm just saying. I didn't even, know, I didn't even see the gauge. Are you? Are you, me. Are you all right, bro? I got a wedgie, bro. Your old underwear ever just gets sucked into your nah. ass? So in the movie car, a lot of people don't remember that the movie car had yellow a yellow cage. Yes. It actually did. It did? It did. See? It Small did. details. So we went back, got a, a yellow cage from Titan Motorsports. It's a complete bolt-on. And yeah. Now, sir, the only thing I require, I need to see in your cabin. To oh, see come on in. Working with. Yeah, yeah, come on in. You tell me all the it's and bits of this bad boy. So back to the carbon, the movie car had the carbon overlay. I don't even remember back in the 90s, that little overlay that, that was like a sticker that went over it. I, that we okay. still have that to this day. Okay, so when we bought the car, I actually had that on. Oh, so nice. we had to rip that off and then we ended up getting real carbon because I, you know, it's 2023. You gotta get with the times. We gotta get with the times, baby. Here's the six speed uh, sequential transmission from 6XD. <laughs> Works great. And then we have our grip royal steering wheel because in the movie car, the steering wheel was blue. Small detail. So this is what we, the only thing we could find was this okay. and we were more than happy to run it. It's a great steering wheel. And then as you can see here, we have our IC7 Haltech and we running uh, 20, uh, Haltech Elite 2500. Nice, nice. Drive by wire, right? Drive by wire, yes nice. sir. And I noticed, I, you can't forget this, these seats. What are exactly these? They're Ricardo, I believe they're podium seats and they're full carbon. You can pick them up with one finger, but don't quote me on the model. So I, I think it is, I think they are podium seats. Now, sir, I hate I hate to be this guy. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, what you're racing isn't from the movie, but it's the same brand. Are you ready to see it? I am ready. I. It, sure? looks, it looks amazing from here. I can't wait to see <laughs> right? it. Let's get yeah. into it. Let's go. You may think it's horsepower. That makes you fast on track, but really it comes down to your brakes. You can have all the power in the world, but if you can't stop, you can't make that corner, you're gonna have a bad time. So that's why I really like to use Hawk brake pads for all my braking applications. Hawk brake pads, they make pads in every single range. And that's right, one brake pad isn't the answer for every car. And Hawk makes it easy for you to choose the right pad because they got this website, they got these crazy charts. It shows you a matrix of everything from initial response, stopping power, modulation. You can go to the Hawk website, and check out what pad is perfect for your application. The next most important thing, brake fluid. Choosing the right brake fluid at the right temp range is absolutely crucial to keep you fade free on the track, on the street, wherever. So head over, hawkperformance.com. That's where you can see what pad is perfect for you, what fluid is perfect for you. You don't need to spend money on that big brake kit, just get the right pads. And over here, we have a Ferrari. But it's not like any Ferrari. This is like the most special, most fast ever Ferrari. What, what is this? What's the full name? So this is a 2021 Ferrari SF90. Technically, it's is, SF90 Stradale. It is a Stradale. Yeah. It just means street, by the way. It's not that exciting, but it means it's for the street. She belongs to the street. Instead of a challenge, which is for racing. Hit us with the numbers real quick, because the numbers is out of the classic Ferrari number world. So, ignoring the price, of course. It wasn't nice, the pricing-wise, but <laughs> main, main spec-wise. <laughs> the price wasn't nice. More than you can afford, pal. The price, by the way, because I looked it up before we walked <laughs> out here, they were stickered 
at just over half a million. And now they go used for 750,000. Well, I have to have one. I could only imagine what it, the over sticker was on this thing. So it was so not <laughs> nice. He doesn't want to talk about it. Total weight, Ferrari claims the car is around 3650 dry with fluids, everything. Cars around 3750, 3800. Then you put me in it, and it's about 4,000 pounds. Speaking of me or you, because we skipped right over, Steve, what, what's your name? What do you do? So my name is Steve Nagakani. I used to be a professional race car driver for about seven years. IMSA, SRO, GT World Challenge, GT World Challenge Europe as well. So racing cars has always kind of just been a thing so for me. So this is kind of boring today, just straight line stuff, but. Uh, it's fun. Yeah. We have fun, we hang out. So under here, there's at least 800 of the 1,000 horsepower. Correct. How, what is this? So this is a four liter twin turbo V8, basically derived from the Pista okay. previously. Little bit retuning for boost and all these other kind of control modules Ferrari had input into the car. And then it also has three other electric engines as well. One helps assist the rear wheels and then two more for each individual front wheel as well. And how much power are the electric motors? 217 to 220 in that kind of ballpark. So it's, so it's more than 1,000 then, right? Yeah. Ferrari just wanted to get past a thousand points. You don't really buy the car because it's a thousand. No. You just buy it because it's more than a thousand. Uh, one of the biggest things about this car is basically looking at other Ferraris and other models, how low this engine sits compared to other models. I it, mean, compared to just my 360, which is like a poor man's version of this, but came first. <laughs> like my engine's like here. So the main reason for this was obviously just from track experience, of from course. Ferrari's background, just lower center of gravity helps overall G-force in the corners. Again, the car's built for corners, you know? So it's have you tracked this thing? Not yet, personally, but I have um, taken it to um, like Canyon Roads yeah, yeah. and other stuff like that. And just the overall like feeling of the car. The, the biggest thing for me is just the actual chassis itself of how good balance and like low center it sits. You can feel everything in the entire road. Even if it does have a small front tire, it really lets you feel the entire car in the chassis. Speaking of, let's walk on. What, what is a small front tire? Yeah, so you're saying a small front tire, which is a 255, which is like big for regular cars. But yeah, on a supercar, you're kind of more in like a 285. Expecting kind of expecting a little bit more. Yeah. But I mean, it's crazy to think about the fact that it's all wheel drive, has all those components on it. They even stuck two turbos on the car as well. And it still weighs less than 4,000 pounds. But wait, there's more. And as you can see, the brakes are massive. It's just a lot of inches. Mm. <laughs> Plus eight pistons, but they're crazier than that, right? Correct, so minus the ominous name of Brembo brakes on it. <laughs> the car actually features a new Ferrari system called a bi-wire system. So you would think it's a It's like drive-by wire. Exactly, a full physical hard brake pedal that you, when you press pressure, it gives you pressure. But what it actually does is it sends your brake pressure out to an ECU, and the ECU tells each individual brake caliper exactly how much brake pressure to put. Walk us through the steering wheel because this has more technology than most of the cars that come on this versus that. So what, what do you got going on here? You got a bit of everything. So because this car does come optioned with the Assetto Fiorano package and the and a tailor See, there's made. the words we're looking for. <laughs> like that's the thing that makes a Ferrari These magical. These are just packages. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So which package is this? So this has the Assetto Fiorano and it is also a tailor made car as well. So essentially Assetto Fiorano is their more track focused kind of AMG M sport package that they use. It's better suspension, a little bit more carbon fiber, a little bit less weight in the car, stiffer spring rates. The car sits about half an inch lower compared to a non one. It has a little bit more carbon fiber in the front, bigger rear wing It does move up and down the first half of the wing does. And it's the slice of pepperoni with the extra mozzarella. That's all he's trying to say. Extra right? cheese on the side. And what are the paddles connected to? So what type of transmissions in here? This is connected to a eight speed dual clutch transmission that you can have fully automatic, semi-automatic with paddle shifters. If you don't mind. Oh yeah, that's a nice engagement. It's a very good click. All right, well, time to go, uh, time to go smoke a super. I hate to say this, the Ferrari guy is super cool and that's a car I can never afford. Toyota. Logically, I know that's probably on paper faster, but it's nothing cooler than an orange Supra. I'm going with the Supra. 
the tuner kid in me, 100%, like go for Paul, Supra, but 1,000 horsepower from the factory with technology and electric motors, uh, it's gonna smoke it. Ferrari's sometimes not the best on this show. So my heart wants to tell you Supra, so that is what I'm gonna do. Sometimes Hollywood lies. Ferrari smokes super. That's not the same Ferrari. He <laughs> raced like a Testarossa. And that's not the same Supra that's got way more power. Not according to the movie. What? How much power did He's Paul He's 10 have? second car, so it's a thousand horsepower car back in the day. My car? I don't think that math is right. It's 10 oh, seconds. Yeah, I think you're off. I don't think math's off. Listen. You know what a thousand horsepower was like in 2001? God, it was know. insane. I'm yeah, Supers had like 600 horsepower back then, not a thousand. And everybody thought it was a thousand. Yeah. Here's the deal. We it was a thousand yeah. for like 300 RPM. Yeah. We didn't have cell phones, we have dinos. It was a different era, bro. Yeah. What happened there, oh, man? Well, I do appreciate I mean, no race suit. Why do I feel like I'm being set up? Not race shoes. Race suit? Yeah. Race suit. <laughs> what are those? What, are, like what, what are those? <laughs> so let's we gotta we gotta figure out because uh yeah. you got beat by about 20 car lengths. Yeah. I was it 25? That. I was there, bro. <laughs> okay. Well, actually, you weren't for about 20 minutes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, all right, you weren't. All right, all right, all right. I mean, we've already discussed that he can drop it down into a, you know, a different mode. You go to, the, like, the, what, what's the mode Don't called? Don't you dare say eco mode. He could go into eco <laughs> mode. The hybrid no, mode. No, basically, he can turn off the electric performance, which okay. drops him down to 800 horse. And you guys said you're at 800 yeah, today. You're not at 1,000 yeah. yeah. today. Not at 1,000. So they're down from the thousand. Turn Sorry, you said a thousand. We've got you a thousand horsepower. It's not like race. I can turn a knob and go to a thousand. Ooh, but just... then how come last time I saw a dyno video, it pushed over? Hey, 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 hey. We don't worry about the videos. We're talking about analytics today. All right, so what do you guys want? Because you need a lot to make this. Um, and, and like you do realize that like, you're not just racing for you, but you're racing for every fan. You represent me right now, Ricky. Right? Me. Generation. Can we Martin. do two cars in a hit? <laughs> you know, hold on. Hey, bro. Hey, bro. Yeah. Hey. Yeah, dog. Yeah, yeah. Was it that bad? Hey, 25 be cars. Car. Put Gary in there for Ballast Go Boy. Ballast Ooh. Yeah. Ballast yeah. Boy. Take a Ballast Boy, too. But if I, if I take eco him, mode, but if I take him, then I gotta go not full eco. I'll go a half one. Nah, you gotta just oh, hit it. There you go. Oh, bro, all right, fine. He ain't that okay. fat. Damn! Shut everybody it. shut the f up. Here's what we're gonna do. You're gonna take Gary. You're gonna go in eco mode. You're gonna get three cars, and then we're gonna race. And I hit. Hit. And a hit. Sure, well, and it's, 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 hit. it's three. Three. You're fine. You're gonna be okay. I think we have proven that this thing is uh, very, very fast. A little bit fast. So you have won. You won by two cars, even with Gary in there. With even Gary. giving him three cars and in the, the hit. In the hybrid mode, too. In the hybrid mode. And you, if I may add a little bit of salt to the wound, launch control was not on that time. I saw. Sir, thank you. So how you feeling? Um, feeling like a loser right now, but... <laughs> But you still I'm, look I'm, cool. I'm, I'm still having You still look cool, though. That's great. And I'm, I definitely don't have AC. I'm sure he does. I'm hot. His AC's on. Yeah. Uh, thanks, bro. Hey. Not there yet. You did good. Yeah.
Gary, did you just go take a number two in the RV? Oh, 